Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, just like it says on the hat. And thanks for dropping in for yet another Ham Shack Chat. I enjoy a lot of the WSJT-X modes, especially FT8 and FT4. But sometimes I miss just having a nice QSIL, a rag chew. And that's where JS8 Call comes in. JS8 Call, which used to be called FT8 Call, should clue you into the origins, is rapidly becoming a go-to mode for QSOs. It uses the same waveform and modulation as WSJTX FT8 and the same 15 second transmission times with time synchronizations. Both have 50 hertz bandwidths, thereabouts. However, as you will see, the transmission isn't all pre-programmed and encourages more personal chats. A couple of things that you'll need to keep in mind for this video. For the sake of brevity, I've listed all of the menu settings and the function settings to optimize your FT891 for this mode down there in the video description. If you're already active on FT8, your current settings should be more than sufficient. As always, any questions, concerns, nitpicks, corrections, and salutations may be entered in the comments section. Tell me about it! The first thing that you're going to want to do is download and install JS8 Call. This is the website that you do it from and I have this link down in the video description. You can see that it's multiple sources, Mac, Windows, Raspberry Pi, and Linux. I use a Windows so this is what I would download. I'm not going to go ahead and do that because I assume that you already know how to download a program and how to install it. Move it, bub! We got an installation to installate. Because you'll need your output synced with the other stations, just like in FT8, you'll need to align your computer time with everyone else's. Again, if you're active with FT8, you should already know how to do this. But if you need some help or advice, ask down in the comments, and I'll do my best to talk you through it. Your FT891 doesn't have an internal sound card, so you'll need an external one. I recommend the Tigertronics Signal Link USB. Now I've included a link in the video description where you can get all the information you need to purchase and configure the Signal Link. There's a few things you got to do this with the Signal Link when you first take it out of the box. You can also watch this video. And by the way, the best price that I found, at least online, is at Ham Radio Outlet. And I've put a link to the specific one you'll need. If you find a better price or want to recommend a completely different external sound card, please share it in the comments. Please take a moment to pop that thumbs up icon. It's somewhere down around here. And give me a like. Please like me. Please. To open up JSH, you click this icon and it'll bring it up. I've got mine down here. You can, might keep yours on your desktop. And we're going to come up here to File, Settings. To start with the general where you're going to put in your call sign and your Maidenhead grid locator. Now we're going to click on our radio tab and you've got two tabs underneath here. First we're going to deal with the cat control. The cat control for me or enhanced virtual serial port and you can use the pull down menu to pick out the one that you want. For me it's COM9. You set your baud rate which is the rate that you set inside your radio for me, the data bits and stop bits are 8 and 2 with a default handshake. You can test your cat and it'll go green. We'll deal with push to talk on this next tab, rig options, where we have the push to talk method. Just going to click cat, nothing else, doesn't matter what's in the port, nothing else. You want to be in data packet mode and no split option. Everything else is set inside your computer. But we can come here and test our push to talk. And you can see my radio has engaged and the push to talk here has gone red. I will turn all of that off and go to our audio setting. You want to make sure that your input and output are set 
to the USB audio codex, which is used in your external sound card. For me, that's a signal link. And we can click OK, and we are ready to transmit. Ready to transmit, sir! JS8 call is not nearly as busy as FT8. And as a matter of fact, sometimes it can be really hard to find somebody to QSO with. It's very easy to find an available slot for your signal. Almost too easy. Now I'd like to change that by getting more folks on the air in this mode. That said, I can't do it alone and need your help to spread the word. Please share. Everyone? I get to tell everyone! This with your friends. Word of mouth. Social media. Club meetings are great times and places to talk about JS8 Call and this video. Now I'm going to give you a demo of a QSO in JS8 Call. But once the QSO starts and we get into the meat of the rag chew, I'll go ahead and put that in fast forward mode so as not to make this any longer than it needs to be. But don't take too long, huh? And that's your introduction to JS8 Call with the FT891. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed putting it all together for you. I also hope that you'll give this program a shot and I'll be looking forward to having a nice rag chew with many of you. If you feel like you got something from this, please consider subscribing and smash that subscribe button to this channel. 73 until the next, hey y'all. As always, I'm at your service. This has been a Hamshack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.